Hello bookworms, my name is Lindsay. I am the book vlogger and today I am reviewing The Vampire Stalker by Allison Van Dypen. Stalker is a very short novel, only reaching around 257 pages, about a girl named Amy who is in love with a fictional character. Everything is fine and normal until one day she is nearly killed by the very vampire from her favorite series and then rescued by the boy who hunts him. This is a light, detailed, and very entertaining book. I believe it is a standalone novel. I asked the author if it was going to be a part of a series, but unfortunately she never replied. This book could very easily be part of a series, and I would love it if it was. There is so much to this world and these characters that I would love to see. I feel like the author barely scratched the surface of what this story could be capable of. That being said, the book is very good on its own. Yes, it is short, but I didn't feel like she had sacrificed the story to make it so. Unlike other short books that I've read, everything in this book flowed really nicely, it made sense. No detail was lacking, it didn't feel rushed, and it didn't make me feel like I was missing pages. Predictability is so-so. You pretty much see everything that's going to happen, but it's not so extreme that it ruins the story for you. The ending isn't as predictable as you might think. It definitely could have gone a couple of different ways. Sex and gore? Sex? No, there is kissing and romance. Gore, yes, you do see blood and dead bodies, but nothing is grotesque. You can definitely handle it. Now on to the protagonist meter. I've decided to put Amy smack dab in the middle. She is very likable. It's like the author specifically designed her to be relatable to every book blogger out there. Her physical features are pretty average, um, so you can easily relate to her on that. She doesn't have bright red curly hair or big breasts or anything like that. She's got a snot-nosed little sister. Raise your hand if you've got an obnoxious sibling. Her parents are divorced. Raise your hand if your parents are divorced. She's in love with a fictional character. Raise your hand if you've ever been in love with a fictional character. Come on, don't lie. It's all right, we've all been there. She stood in line outside of a store just for the release of a book. Raise your hand. She put aside three days just so she can read that book nonstop. I actually took off work. So as you can see, she's relatable. The reason I'm putting her in the middle of the protagonist meter is because she's just an average girl. Therefore, she doesn't have any fighting skills. But she does have every willingness to learn. So when push comes to shove, you can bet she's not just going to be standing back letting someone else do the work for her. So the part I chose takes place in the first couple of pages in the book, and I think it gives you a good idea of all this story really has to offer. One of the best things about this series was that it was set in my city, Chicago. But Otherworld Chicago was very different from the Chicago I knew. It was a place where mortals stayed in their homes after nightfall. A place where you didn't trust anyone who wasn't your kin. And it was all because of vampires. As the series told it, for centuries, vampires had existed in isolation in northern Scandinavia, preying on the residents of remote villages. Then, in the 1920s, the vampires had decided to leave seclusion and migrate all over the world, creating more vampires as they went along. Otherworld Chicago had been hit especially hard because one of the world's most notorious vampires, Vigo Scar, had moved there with his coven of several hundred vampires. Vigo and his vicious second-in-command, Leander, had been terrorizing the city ever since. As a result, innovation had stopped completely, and Otherworld had not made any technological advancements since the 1920s. I certainly recommend this book. It was a lot of fun. I was never once bored. My only complaint is that I flew through it. It's got a fair bit of action, a hot guy, danger, and a world with a history that's very unique. What more could you ask for? Oh, and it's funny. I laughed a lot. Okay, so that's part one of this review. If you haven't read the book, you can hit this click to skip button. They'll send you to the end of the video where you'll get to links to some other great videos. Make sure you thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and let's go into the spoiler room. Spoiler alert. To avoid spoilers, leave now. Spoilers activated. Welcome to the spoiler room. If you haven't read this book, then you probably should stop watching right now or go back and hit that click to skip button because I'm going to talk about 
the spoilers in this book and we're going to discuss it. If you have read this book, then you're in the right place. I want Allison to write a sequel to this book and send Amy to other worlds. Allison, if you're watching this, please write a sequel. Please, please, please write a sequel. I want to see Other World Chicago so badly. What a cool and interesting place. I would love to see this as a movie just so I could see Alexander Bangs in his formal attire. That would be hot. One of my favorite scenes was when Vigo bit Amy. That really surprised me. Most authors would not mar their character in such a way, but I'm so glad that Allison did. It hyped up the danger and it showed that this character was not invulnerable. I'm really glad she did it. I loved the scene. It was great. I thought the book had a good ending. Technically, that was the more predictable ending. That's where you expected it to go. But for a while there, um, I thought that Alexander was going to go home. I never worried that he would die because that would have been way too tragic. But for a while there, I thought that he would actually go home because going home would have been the truly right thing to do so that he can keep fighting. And that would have been really, really, really tragic for him to do that. It would have been kind of a sad ending. But I'm glad that he stayed because that was the really happy ending. That was the ending that we were all really hoping for. But at the same time, it was still really sad because Alexander had to say goodbye to the only family he had, knowing that he would never see them again. I wonder what the author of the Other World series will write in the third book. I'm really curious to see what she does about Alexander's character, since he's no longer in that world. And that's just another reason why this should be a series. Um, there's one scene that I want to talk about that was so funny. The scene when Amy was at her computer and she was showing Alexander how it works and he saw her name. As soon as I read that line, I laughed and laughed. I swear, it had, 10 minutes had to have passed where I kept laughing. My dog was looking at me funny because I never laughed that hard. What, a, what an awkward and funny situation. So that's the end of my review for The Vampire Stalker by Allison Van Dypen. It was a really great book. I truly loved it. Make sure you guys comment below, subscribe, thumbs up, all that wonderful stuff. Here are some videos that I think you might like, and until next time, happy reading.